Hello, my dear lovely students of class 3. I am Vidya Rani, your English teacher. Children, in the last video, we have finished chapter 2, Taku and Lal Hava, part 1. That was half of the story, children. Now, today, we will carry on with the same story in Kaku and Lal Hava of Chapter 2, Part 2. Now, before I explain you the chapter, children, let's recapitulate what we had done in the last video. In the last video, like children, you came to know who was Kaku, where he used to live, like Kaku was a small boy, he used to live in a village named Choti Dadi. And every day he used to love walking to his school. He used to go walking. Why he used to go walking? Because on his way, he used to meet his friend. That was Lal Hava. And while he used to walk, he used to enjoy that Lal Hava coming towards him. Now one day he was standing on the hill likewise and Lal Hava was arriving. It was arriving while in the far off, far off it appeared very small and as it came close by it appeared big. And it seemed that it had covered the whole blue sky. He started clapping. Kaku started clapping, seeing his friend Lal Hava. Lal Hava means what children? A tree, which was painted red. Now let us proceed children to the second part. Put your fingers children where I am reading. He clapped and waved as Lal Hava chuk chuk past him. He started clapping. He started clapping with joy as Lal Hava passed him. Doing, making what sound, children? Chuk chuk sound. As his eyes followed its magical wheel, he saw small hands waving to him. As he saw the magical wheel of Lal Hava passing through him. He could see passengers sitting in that Lal Hava in that train and waving him. He ran along with Lal Hava waving back at the small hands. Now what happened children? See Kaku's childishness. He started running with Lal Hava. He started running with Lal Hava and started waving those people who started waving back those people who were waving at him. Okay children, waving means what children? To do like this. Okay, they were waving from the that train and he also did the same. Kaku also did the same. Kaku loved meeting Lal Hava every day and Kaku he used to love meeting Lal Hava every day and for that reason also he was very much eager early in the morning to go to his school. He liked its red paint, its fast moving wheels and the chuk chuk sound made as it moved. He loved these things of Lal Hava. First, its red paint he used to love, its speed he used to love and that chuk chuk sound also he used to love. Now children, every night he prayed for Lal Hava to stop at his village just once. Now whenever he used to go to bed, 
he used to pray to God, Oh God, please make that lal hawa one stop at my village. Okay, hallway. That was his wish, children, that he could once board that train. He could get into that train, that lal hawa. Because that lal hawa never used to stop at his village. It always used to run from his village. One day, Kaku asked his school teacher. One day, he asked his school teacher. Why doesn't Lal Hava stop at Choti Dadi, sir? He asked his teacher. Why doesn't this Lal Hava stop at his village? He asked his teacher. His teacher replied. His teacher gave him. What children? Answer. Okay. Kaku, our village is too small for the mighty Lal Hava. Okay. Now the teacher replied that Kaku, our village is very small for that mighty. Mighty means what children? Strong, powerful, mighty Lal Hava to stop. Kaku was sad. His amma gently consoled him by saying, Don't be sad, Kaku. I am sure Lal Hava will stop here one day. Now, when he listened to the answer given by the teacher, he became very sad, children. It was his wish that Lal Hava could stop at his village so that he would get in that Lal Hava. But listening to the answer given by the teacher, he became very sad. Now, his Amma replied and gently consoled him. Consoled me. him means what? Comforted him. Assured him. Okay? That don't worry, Kaku, one day this Lal Hava will stop at your village and you would be able to get into that train. But Lal Hava never stopped. Every day it raced past the village lake, leaving Kaku alone on that small mud hill. Every day. Kaku used to watch that Lal Hava standing on the mud hill. Now this Lal Hava never used to wait children and never stopped at his village. It always used to race past and Kaku was all left alone. A few days later, Kaku reached the small hill as usual. As usual, Every day he used to go to that small hill. He was there on that small hill. He could see Lal Hava approaching. Kaku closed his eyes and started praying that his dear friend would stop. Now, when he saw that Lal Hava coming towards him, approaching him, Kaku started Kaku closed his eyes and started praying. Oh God, make this Lal Hava stop at my village once. Okay, children? And he closed his eyes and started praying that his dear friend would stop at that place. However, his eyes were closed but he wondered why his ears could not hear the chuk chuk of Lal Hava. Now he started wondering. However, his eyes was closed, children. And he started wondering, my, my eyes are closed, but I am not able to hear the chuk chuk sound made by Lal Hava. Why is it so? His eyes were closed, but he wondered why his eyes could not hear that chuk chuk of Lal Hava. 
Startled, he opened his eyes with a surprise. What did he do, children? He opened his eyes. There, right in front of him, Lal Hawa had stopped. There, right in front of him, that Lal Hawa had stopped. When he opened his eyes, he saw that Lal Hawa had stopped. Kaku could not believe. He couldn't believe on his eyes what he was seeing. He couldn't believe because never that Lal Hawa used to wait for the Kaku. Then he heard a noise coming from the village. He heard noises coming from village. Everyone was running towards Lal Hawa. Everyone was what doing children? They were running towards Lal Hawa, shouting and cheering. Everyone was happy along with this Kaku that Lal Hawa had stopped at their village. He could see his Amma, his school teacher, his friends and the old retired railway guard hurrying towards Lal Hawa. Everyone was running towards Lal Hawa. They were very happy that Lal Hawa had finally stopped at that village. That Choti Dadi. Okay. Anne was waiting to meet Kaku. Lal Hawa had stopped at Choti Dadi. And now it was waiting to meet whom children? To Kaku. Lal Hawa whistled aloud and Kaku laughed and whistled back. Lal Hawa whistled and in the reply Kaku also whistled. Quickly he climbed on to Lal Hawa and just then Lal Hawa chuk chuk again. He quickly climbed to that Lal Hawa, got into Lal Hawa and chuk chuk sound came and it started. The chuk chuk sound became Fast and soon Lal Hawa was flying on magic wheels. The chuk chuk sound became faster and faster and now Lal Hawa seemed to be flying on that magical wheel. With Kaku in it, Amma smiled. Kaku was in it and Amma smiled at Kaku. She had tears in her eyes. Mother started crying. Seeing that Kaku was very happy and finally he was able to meet his friend. From a window, Kaku waved to everyone. And from the window, he started waving everyone. Lal Hawa was flying and so was Kaku. Lal Hawa was flying in airs and so was Kaku also flying in airs. Because finally the wish of Kaku had come true. Now here we come to the end of the chapter children. I hope you must have enjoyed. Later on I will catch you in another video of this chapter that is exercises. Till then children take care. Bye.